Good morning, Tuesday. Hey, y'all. Good to see you. Grab your coffee. Let's get woke up. Is woke up a word? <laughs> Awakened? Awakened? Let's wake up together. <laughs> hey, Barbara. Good to see you guys. Good morning, Thea. <clears throat> so Tuesdays are always reserved for upper body, okay? The one thing that we're doing that's a little bit different today is that we are gonna set it to a timer. Uh, we've done kettlebell timers, we've done ab timer workouts. Uh, I couldn't remember, good morning, Angel. I could not remember if we had done an arm time to work out. Good morning, Rhonda. Yes. Good to see you, Rhonda, Pamela's sister. Pamela and, Va and Valerie's sister. Hey Yolanda, so for today's workout, you will need hand weights. It may be one of those things where you put like your 10s, your 12s, your 15s out. That way, good morning Len, good morning Juanita. Where if you need to go up and down with weights, you've got them all sitting right there. Good morning, good morning Barbara, Carol, the gang's all here y'all. I've got coffee, I've got water, I've got music, I've got a timer. Let me test out the, uh, it's right here. Let me test out the volume. Starting session. Okay, that's not terrible. Hopefully you guys can hear that, but you can Starting also session. hear me, you can hear the music. We've got a good balance going. So there's a couple of times where you will need a mat. I think for the chest press and for the spider plank. So keep your mat handy, that way you can pull that in quickly, okay? All right, I always have to, I'm sad when I have to set my coffee down and start working out. All right, let me grab my mat. You guys grab your hand weights. And I'm gonna grab off of my new rack over here, my 12s. But I'm also gonna start with some of my, uh, good morning, Shalini, good morning, Pamela. Got my 12s right here. I might need a pair of 15s. I think there's a back row on here in the first round. Good morning, Keisha. Crystal. Crystal's got 30 minutes to work out. Okay, we'll make it worth your while, girl. Okay, here's what we've got in the first circuit. Shoulder press, bicep curl, plank taps, chest press, back row, side raise. <laughs> Uh, spider plank where we spider this way and then a wild card the eighth move you get to pick okay good morning Tanya good morning Keisha let's do a quick warm-up you guys ten squats that's it three squeeze four good morning Emily five with your squats six we're just warming up seven trying to generate a little heat eight that's it Kenya nine one more ten Good. There's Valerie. Let's do some lateral lunges, that's it. Now, if you did yesterday's workout with us, you might be a little bit sore in your lower body. I can feel that. Every time I go out, I can feel a stretch. There's Anya, yes, Kenya. Good morning, ladies. Two more. Good. Let's switch sides. The goal for your warm-up is just to get your blood flowing a little bit. I know when we sleep at night, everything kind of stiffens up. At least it does with me. I can speak for myself. <laughs> Good morning, Angie. I wake up and I actually have this mysterious, when I put on my tennis shoe, I had this mysterious pain, last one, in my left foot. And I think it's like, sometimes just our chain gets tight. It's kinked up and we want to stretch it. All right, you guys, let's do a little bit of, let's do some arm circles for warm up. Here we go, forward arm circles. That's it, okay, reverse it. Good, there's Marilyn, yes. Happy Tuesday, Marilyn. She had a birthday last week. It's been a big month for you, Marilyn. All right, you guys, we are ready. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer. Remember, start really, really light this first round if you've got light weights. If 
that's all you got, just stick with it, okay? All right, I'm gonna turn this music up a hair. Here we go, y'all. Grab your weights. We're going to start with a shoulder press. All right, I'm going to start with my tens. You guys ready? Here we go, Beverly. Arms up. So, so as much as my as much as I typically count, it's a nice break to have a timer. All we have to do is go for 45 seconds on. 15 second recovery with our shoulder press. And press, good. Your chest is high, your core is locked in. That's good, we're at the halfway point. Ooh, I'm already starting to feel failure. <laughs> it's early in the day, Jess, to be feeling failure. We can go 10 more seconds, come on, 10 more seconds. That's it, I can feel my arms burning, five seconds. Good, three. Two, one, good, bring those weights down. Wow, I'm already feeling that in my shoulders. Now, if you hit failure before we get to the timer, just shake out your arms and get right back into it, okay? Here we go with a bicep curl. Grab your weights, here we go. After bicep curls, we're gonna go onto our mat and do a plank shoulder tap, okay? That's it. Good. Now, I wanna check in with everybody on their week two of our Healthy Habits Challenge. There's certain things I'm doing better than others. <laughs> I will say, I tried to get excited again yesterday about tracking. I did not get excited about tracking. So I'm gonna hit the reset button again, 10 seconds more. I'm gonna hit reset again on my tracking in my fitness pal and try to get back to it today. Five seconds on these curls. Three, two, one. Good, all right, pull out your mat. You're gonna go down onto your mat and do a plank tap, okay? Ready? I'm enjoying this break. Three seconds. Here we go, y'all. Go into a plank. Good. We're tapping for the whole time. Now, if this is something you struggle with, I want you to stay in a Static hold plank, okay? Tap, tap, tap. Good, each one of these Tabatas we're gonna do for three rounds. Each round, if you wanna do a little bit of a different variation, you can do that, okay? We'll talk about some different variations. Hang in there, we're at the halfway point. We're better than halfway, 10 seconds. Keep your hips low. After this one, I believe we're going down into a chest press. So we're gonna stay on our mat. Three, two, one. Good. That is correct. See you, Michael. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, y'all. He's off to work. All right, lay on your back. Chest press. All right, I'm gonna use my 12 pounders this round. Next round, I'm gonna go heavier. Sorry, I missed a few seconds. Distractions, chest press. Here we go. Now, if you have a bench, if you have a ball, all those things will get you up off the ground. That would be perfectly fine with me if you wanted to do your chest press. What happens is when your elbows touch, that's as far down as you can go. But when you're on a bench or a stability ball, that gives you that much more range of motion. All right, next up, we're gonna stand up in three seconds. Get ready for back rows. Back rows, I'm gonna grab these heavier weights for my back row. All right, here we go. Flat back, hinge over. Here we go, hey LaShawn. Yes, she's up early. She's late but here, she said. I'm just glad you're here, LaShawn. It's a struggle to get here. Everyone deserves a cheer and an applause for preparing yesterday, your clothes, your bedtime, everything you needed to do to be successful this morning. Back raise, I mean back rows. That's it, back rows. 15 seconds, oh, these are starting to wear on me. 
That's it. Good, y'all. Five seconds. Keep going. Back row. Back row. Back row. Good. All right. I'm going to go with the next one is a side raise. So you're right here. Side raise. I'm going to go back to my widest weights I've got. Single side raise. Deep breath. Ready? Here we go. Side raise. Good. I'm allowing my weights to rest on the front of my thighs. That's it, Beverly. Good. That's it, Carol. Side raise. Today's workout is all about our upper body, arms, chest. We've got a little bit of core work in there. A little bit where we've got our planks. I think each, each one of our Tabatas has two, that's it Crystal, 10 seconds, has two plank variations. Next up, you're gonna go back to your mat and do a spider plank. A modification for the spider plank would be you do a plank elevated and you're trying to tap your knee to your elbow. Ready? Here we go. Go down into a plank. Right here. And tap. 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 This is one version of it. Good. The last movement, your eighth movement, is going to be your choice. It's a wild card spot. So whatever you think you need, whether it's crunches, more arm work, push-ups, whatever you think you need, add it in there in the eighth spot, okay? That is your choice and your spot for some creativity. Think of something you feel like we haven't done lately. I always get people asking for a for calf raises. Calf raise. All right, for my wild card, I need to get my heart pumping a little bit. So I'm going to do, Kenya's gonna do the replay. Sounds good, Kenya. I'm gonna do jumping jacks. Right here. I want a little bit of cardio this morning. 45 seconds on. That's it, y'all. After this, you get a water break, okay? Hang in there. Hang in there. 30 seconds. That's it. You've got 20 seconds left. Woo. This is a lot of jumping jacks. <laughs> but whatever you want to do here, except just lay flat on the floor. Five seconds. That's it. All right, y'all, breathe. This is your water break. You've got, let's do about a 30 second recovery before we start the next round, okay? Deep breath. Some people love the Tabata timer. Some people not so much. <laughs> What I try to do is use it once per week. It kind of gives my mind a mental break from having to count every rep. So for that, I really like it. All right, are we ready, Valerie? All right, set your coffee down. I'm gonna turn this music up one notch. All right, y'all ready? Here we go. We had a 50 second break. We're starting with the top with shoulder presses. Anywhere where you felt like you could go a little bit heavier, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna keep with the tens. <laughs> they were heavy enough for me. Ready? In three seconds. Get your weights ready and press. Press. That's it. If you wanna try a little bit of an advanced variation on the shoulder press, you can come down and twist into an Arnold press. So that's one option here. Arnold press, good. You just have that rotation, which helps to actually strengthen your rotator cuffs. That's it, good, come down and press. You're doing great, Yolanda. That's it, y'all, here we go, 10 seconds left. We can do this. 
Next up, we're gonna go straight into bicep curls. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, with our bicep curls, you can just do a straight curl, or you can go a little bit heavier and do some hammer curls. All right, I'm gonna try the heavier. Single hammer curls. Here we go. Curl. Curl. That's it, Pamela. Good job, Rhonda. We've got the whole Malone crew there. Now, Pamela, are you guys originally from Atlanta? Or are you more from the Smyrna area, where we're from? Just curious. <laughs> Here we go, keep going. Curl, curl, curl. Next round, I'm gonna need to go heavier on these. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. I'm doing double hammers. Five seconds. Next up, we're gonna go to our mat and do plank taps. Here we go. So for your, your variation this round, you can do a shoulder tap, a hip tap. Here we go. Ready? You're right here. And reach across. Reach across right there. That's it. Good job. Good. Keep breathing. That's it, Emily. Keep breathing, y'all. Good job, Carol. So you can do a shoulder tap right here, or you can do a hip tap. That's it. Good job, Anya. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, hip tap, hip tap. I can feel this in my shoulders, y'all. We're gonna go straight from here, flip it over into a chest press. Lay on your mat. With your chest press, you can grab the heaviest you've got, okay? And y'all, I was organizing my garage yesterday, and I found chest press. Speed up. I found my stability ball. I did. It was in a box. I deflated. But I'm going to have that ready for Friday's ad class. So if you guys can work at finding one, I know that they've got them at five below, which is like a dollar, kind of like a dollar tree here in my area. So I don't want you to buy an expensive one, but if you can get one of those stability balls, we will start using it. Chest press, chest press. Good. Next up, we're gonna stand up and straight into a back row, okay? Hang in there. Chest press, I'm starting to sweat. Good, roll it up. We can do a ball pass. We can do so many things. So many things with that stability ball if we all, most of us have one, okay? They're from the burrow. Okay, that makes sense. Here we go. Flat back, back row. Back row. Squeeze. Are you squeezing the center of your back? That's it, Norma. Good job, Norma. Yes, squeeze. Squeeze. You've got 30 seconds left. That's it. Good. Row. Row. There's lots of different hand positions you can do for these. Row. You can do an underhand grip right here. Row. Row. 10 seconds more. Oh, I'm starting to feel these. Next up, we're going to go lighter into a side raise. That's it, LaShawn. Side raise. Good. I'm going to go back to my tens. Single side raise in five seconds. I'm using every second of my rest. Ready? Here we go. Side raise. That's it. So I've been making lots of progress on my house, y'all. I did Yesterday I did something that felt great. I'll throw this out there as a challenge. This is not a nutrition or a health challenge, but I would say this is a mental health challenge. I got a, uh, a laundry basket. I got a big black garbage bag, and I took that into my closet, y'all, and got rid of about half of my workout tops. I had accumulated 
quite the collection. All right, next up we're gonna go back into a spider plank. Go back down to your mat. But I threw away, threw away, I donated to Goodwill about half my collection of tank tops. <laughs> and it felt good. The basket's still sitting here. I'm gonna try to add to it today. It's just a good exercise. Here we go, back into your plank. Come up. It's a good idea to clean out. When you have a little while, start with, with, with a small goal. Say, today I'm gonna donate five things. And put those in your basket put it in the laundry room or somewhere where you can come back to it. You don't, you don't have to get overwhelmed at doing your entire closet in one day. Just start to think about five items a day and next thing you know, you'll have enough to take to the Goodwill. Oh, these are tough. Hang in there. Spider plank. Oh. All right, you guys. Next one, you can go back go back to what you did the first round or you can do something different. She loves decluttering. Yes, team declutter. All right, I'm gonna do the twisty top. Twisty top. We did this the other day on an ab day. It's a good little cardio and it works your abs. Twisty tops. But the feeling I get from donating stuff to the Goodwill it is a great feeling. So I'm gonna throw that out there to you guys. 15 seconds, keep breathing. We've got one more round of this and then we're moving on. Five, four, three, two, one. Man, those were harder than they than I thought. <laughs> ah. All right, y'all, get a sip of coffee. A couple of good things that round. I'm starting to feel sweat come down my face. My heart rate is elevated. Now that we got through the second circuit, or the second round. Mm. Breathe. Good job, y'all. Everybody feeling okay? All right. Five more seconds and let's go. Mm. Here we go. Back at the top. Shoulder press. If you can this round, go heavier or do one of the advanced variations. Here we go. Starting session. I'm gonna go with the 12ers, see what happens. Here we go, that's it Juanita. I'm gonna go with the Arnold press. Split my stance, right like that. Good stuff, y'all. Keep going. So that's not all I did yesterday. <laughs> I started with clearing out my, my closet, made some space there. Then I decided, let me go see what's up in the attic. <laughs> Let me go see what can be donated or thrown away. So I threw away another big bag of just trash, of boxes and old gift bags and stuff the kids had stashed up in there. 15 seconds more on your shoulder press. Then, since I had room in the attic, I took all my suitcases up there that had been collecting all over the house. Five seconds. Good, bring it down. So it's a process. It's that never ending process of what would work better in, in your space, okay? Five seconds. Here we go. Bicep curls. You can do a straight curl. You can also do the different ranges of motion. You can do low range. I think when it comes to health, like your overall health, the healthier you feel physically, the more mental space you have for some of those bigger projects. So, I mean, if you're just beat down, you don't feel good, you're slightly depressed, all these things are connected. You're not gonna feel like tackling those projects that are around your house. So it's big picture stuff. 
three seconds. Good, set those down. All right. All right, here we go, back to your mat. You've got a plank tap. And I am by no means an incredible organizer. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Here we go, plank taps. All right, y'all, shoulder tap. Or you can add in hip tap. That's it. But I know what I don't want to be is a hoarder. So I think, <laughs> I think that keeps me motivated to keep throwing stuff out and to avoid bringing stuff into the home, right? Really ask yourself, do I love it? Is there a space for it? If it's just junk, you know, unless it's consumables, then we really don't need it. Unless we're willing to get rid of something else. So that's my, <laughs> all right, flip it over into a chest press. I guess that's my soapbox today. <laughs> on clearing out and decluttering. Here we go. And it just feels so great. That's it, Anya. Chest press. Feet up. For this round, I'm gonna go for a chest press, leg raise. Chest press, leg raise variation. Now, if you're happy, just staying with the chest press. Just stay right there, Rhonda. You don't have to go Advance. You just stay right where you are with a straight chest press. Or you can hold your feet up, knees bent. This gives you a little bit more ab engagement. Right there. Good. Ten more seconds. That's it. Roll it up. All right, next up, stand. You've got a back row. Back row. I'm gonna do the underhand grip. So fingers forward. Here we go. Row. Row. That's it. I am sweating. That is a very good feeling. Yes. Keep sweating. Think about what you wanna do for your final cardio or whatever, it doesn't have to be cardio even. I think I'm gonna do some mountain climbers. I think I am, because those always get my heart rate up. 20 seconds, flat back, back row, y'all. Next up, we're gonna go into an, a side raise. Row, row, five seconds. Good, set it down. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna attempt my 12 pounders this round. Here we go, side raise, begin. Five seconds early, get that extra work. Good, good. Make sure when you do these that it's very low momentum. You don't wanna see a big bob and weave. You wanna see nice, steady torso your upper body, the only thing moving is that shoulder, right? 20 seconds, side raise, come on, side raise. Next up, we've got a side, oh, sorry, a spider plank. I think the other health goal I'd like to make for today is to really double up on my water. I don't know what was happening yesterday, but I was so hungry all day, spider planks. So I think that must have been dehydrated. So I'm going to make that adjustment today. Here we go. More water and dedicated tracking. Here we go, spider planks. Now, my knee is not touching my elbow. I'm just not that, my dimensions just don't work that way. You can reach for it or you can bring your foot up in a little tap. Those are your two options here. The next one is your wild card. Good. Keep going, 15 seconds, spider plank. Almost there, five seconds. Good. 
bring it up. All right, now I know why I'm not doing a mountain climber. <sighs> Almost the same movement. Gun show. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna do a little air jump rope. Here we go. Air jump rope. I tell you what, the day after an arm day, your arms will be rocking all day long. So make sure you have a, make sure you wear a sleeveless shirt today to rock those guns, okay? I'm just doing an air jump rope. This is your wild card. You can pick whatever you want. This is our last movement of this circuit and we're going to move on to the next. 10 seconds. That's it, Emily. That's it, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Let's check in on your sweat level. My headband's falling. All right, y'all. You should feel some sweat coming down your face, okay? Your heart rate should feel elevated. Get a quick sip of water or coffee, and let's talk about what's coming up next, okay? We're at the halfway point. I know, Crystal, you've got to get to work early today. Here's what's happening. We're gonna do another 30 minutes in the second half of class. We've got L-shaped shoulders, l shape. Then we've got a tricep, kick back. The sweat is real, says Juanita. Then we've got a plank hold, okay? I just want you to pick a plank. Then you've got a chest fly. Then you've got back fly, arm circles, renegade rows, and another wild card, okay? And that's it, Anita. Okay, see you tomorrow, Crystal. All right, you guys ready? Here we go, music up. Here we go. We're gonna start with L-shaped shoulders. Start with your lightest weight you've got, okay? Here we go, in five seconds. Ready, L-shapes. Good. It's alternating, so you switch each time. That's it, good, y'all. Switch, L-shape. Looking good, y'all. That's it, Pamela. Keep going, you're at the halfway point. That's it. I know for the kids in my county, we are on week two of being back at school. So far, so good. It really works out pretty good. As soon as class is over with, I get them ready, take them to their schools. Three, two, and one. Take them to school, make it back here just in time to have another cup of coffee and teach another class. <laughs> so it's working really well so far. Here we go, tricep kickbacks, flat backs, locking your elbows, and press. So, so far, so good. Everybody's staying healthy. I did have a teenager last night who Came home from school, was exhausted. She's so exhausted now, but she she doesn't have the stamina of being at school all day. So she came home, had spaghetti for dinner. About seven o'clock, she said, Mommy, I have to lay down and take a nap. I said, if you go to sleep now, you are sleeping through the night. And that's exactly what happened. Five seconds. Good, Ooh. So she went to bed at seven o'clock. My 14 year old, that is. Here we go, y'all. Plank hold. I want you to pick your plank on this one. We're going to do a static hold. I'm going to go down into my forearms. Ready? Here we go. Hold it. Hold. So, sure enough, she slept through the night. I'm going to go wake her up here in a second. She didn't even shower or brush her teeth. <laughs> I was like, can you just shower? She's like, no, I'm too tired. Oh goodness, the drama of teenagers. 
Like, I know everyone has told me this phase was coming, but it didn't really prepare me. All right, everyone, lower your hips. Lower. Hang in there, we've got five seconds. I knew we were close. All right, come up out of there. All right, your next one. Okay, let's go straight onto your back. Grab your heavier weights. You've got a chest fly, okay? Lay it out. Knees bent. I'm gonna use my 15s. Chest flies. Here we go. This is where you come to the sides. Okay, remember the chest press? That's where we go straight up. A chest fly, you go over to the edges. And it works even better if you're on a ball or a bench. That's it. Good job, y'all. Keep going, chest flies. Next up, we're gonna stand up and go into a back fly. Chest fly, that's it. All those things people told me about teenagers, that they're just gonna be dramatic and kinda sassy for a few years. I'm like, really, my kids? Uh-huh, basically, yes, they are. They're always got a little bit of some kind of attitude with everything they say. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter what we're doing. Back flies. They've got a little bit of attitude. Good job. That's it, Pamela. Back flies. Keep going. That's it, Anita. Good. Next up, we're gonna set our weights down. Do body weight only. Arm circles. Ugh. My arms are feeling it. You guys, 10 seconds left. Come on. 10 seconds, squeeze. Squeeze the center of your back. Five seconds, squeeze. Squeeze. Good. Set your waist down. All right, we're gonna do arm circles. Little, big, all variations. In five seconds, let's start. Man, start with small forward. Small forward arm circles. That's it. Let's get a little bit bigger. Medium. Oh, y'all. Why is it these burn like crazy? All right, big forward. Good, now reverse it. Rear big circles. We're at the halfway point. Urgh. Oh, my arms. Y'all, I just my arms just fell to the ground. I couldn't do anything about that. Okay, let's reset. <laughs> I complete failure. Small reverse, small reverse. Small oh. That's it. Okay, when we start the next round, we will start with the reverse, okay? Grab your mat. You've got Renegade Rose. The easiest way to do these is go down into a plank and put one weight in the center, straddle over the top. Here we go, renegade row. Switch, row, set it down, row. Now if you have something heavy, this would be a chance to grab that heavy 25 pound kettlebell for a 20. I did go to Target yesterday to get my daughter some school supplies. So I'm like, hey, let's just, let's walk through the fitness aisle and see what they've got. This was the funny thing. They had one 20 pounder, just one. Not two, not a pair. Renegade rows, y'all, keep rowing. Row. Just one 20. All right, next up, oh, this is your wild card. Okay, think about what you want to do here. I'm going to do, you know what? I'm going to do some side hopping. Side hops. A little bit of cardio, just to keep my heart rate up. So if anybody needs one 20 pounder, I think we'll probably be finding that all over. I didn't get it, just because then what, you know? Good. Good, y'all. Side to side hops, or whatever you choose here. 
This is your wild card spot. 15 seconds. I can feel some fatigue in my legs. Good. 10 seconds. Then you get a water break. Hang in there. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, you guys, get a quick water or anything you've got. The last sip of coffee. Breathe. Round one down, two to go. We're doing great. These take eight minutes. <laughs> Almost dropped her water bottle. That's a very good sign. Mm. When we were doing those arm circles, I, could, I couldn't keep my arms up. I just couldn't. I couldn't. Okay, here we go. Start back at the top. Ready? Here we go. L shapes. L shapes. I gotta go light with this one. Ready, y'all? Here we go. Three, two, one. Good. Everything today. Upper body, arms, shoulders, chest, back, biceps, triceps. You got it. That's it, Marilyn. What'd she say? Oh, wow. We've got a a set of best friends in class today. It's so, the world is so small. Here's how. I went to high school with LaShawn, and then I've been training Marilyn for probably eight years with spin and personal training. And then I came to find out that those two are best friends. One lives in Tennessee, one lives in Kentucky. <laughs> Yay! All right, here we go. Second move, y'all, triceps. It is a small, small world. I think we all know that by now. I had a lady last night reach out to me. Here we go, tricep kickbacks. She said she started doing my classes and she's from South Dakota. That her family members came to visit and um, her family members came to visit and turned her on to my classes and she wanted to do a sponsorship. So absolutely, thank you so much. Gave her all the information. And um, I, I actually didn't know where she lived at the time. I said, where do you live? She said, South Dakota. So we've got students up in South Dakota. And I said, how funny. I'm from Nebraska originally. So when I told her the city I was from in Nebraska, ooh, burn. It's an hour and a half from where she lives. <laughs> in South Dakota. You guys, this world is very small. Here we go, plank hold. Pick your plank that you're gonna do. You can do a forearm or a straight. Here we go. So her family members from Tennessee turned her on to my class while in South Dakota. And then she lives an hour and a half from my hometown. Crazy. Crazy. I think the whole online fitness movement, which I'll call it that, makes you realize no matter where you are, whether it's Kentucky or Atlanta or the Philippines, you can be part of a workout community. We're almost there, y'all. Plank hold. Five seconds more. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Good. Come down. All right, flip your mat over. Chest flies. Chest flies. Here we go. For this variation, I'm gonna do a chest fly, hex press combo. So it's like this. Chest fly, hex press. Good. Chest fly, hex press. Fly. Hex. Good, y'all. That's it. Keep going. Now, if you'd rather just stick with a fly, I'm okay with that. Or if you'd rather stick with the hex press. <laughs> Pick one of those two. Hang in there. Ten seconds more. 
Good stuff. Don't give up now. Come on, Marilyn. Come on, LaShawn. Cheer each other on. Alright, back fly. And I can't remember if, if LaShawn, she could hear her, her friend Marilyn talk about this trainer, Jesse, in Nashville. Back flies. Here we go. I don't think she made the connection initially that it was the Jessica Casey from high school. <laughs> That's it, back flies. Next up, remember we've got those arm circles. Good stuff. Get those arms. That's it, Lynn. That's it, Norma. Squeeze. Good, y'all. That's it, fly. Fly. Keep going, Yolanda. Five seconds. Good, all right. No weights on this one. We said we were gonna start on the reverse. Arm circles. Good, right here. That's it, Carol. Oh, my arms are already burning. Why did I start early? Why did I start early? Okay, focus. Go medium. Go medium. Oh, I'm hitting complete failure. Three more. One, two, three. Oh, bring it down. Y'all, those are killing me. All right, let's start forward. Forward arm circles. Let's do little. Little. Pick up the pace. That's it. Go medium. Slow it down a little bit, five seconds. Next up, Renegade Rows. Grab your mat. And on these, either grab something heavier or you can do both hands on your weights if you choose, okay? I'm gonna do both hands on the weights. That's it, Angie. Right here. And row. Row. Good. Well, remember, you can still straddle your weight in the middle. Halfway point. Keep your hips low. And renegade row. Think about what you want to do for your wild card. It's coming up. water break and you've got your last round okay 10 seconds remember when you get to the top I want to see that squeeze okay five seconds that's it LaShawn good y'all Sherman <laughs> yeah. so Sherman you guys she said where's Sherman this is my mom's little dog that I'm dog sitting. He's sleeping with Thomas. I know. I know, so when I get the kids up, I'll get Sherman up too, and I'll take him out back. Luckily, we have a fenced-in backyard. We have a doggy door. We used to have dogs, so it's real easy. Sherman's a Yorkie poo. He's kind of, he's kind of ornery. He's, he's a barker. Mm. Shelly's got to get to work early. She's got to get to work early. 
Here we go, y'all. Last round. You've got eight minutes to go, okay? Here we go. Last eight minutes of the day. Ready? Here we go. L-shaped shoulders. L-shaped shoulders. I'm sticking with my tens. Here we go, y'all. Stick with something light. Last chance. The goal of your strength training is not just only to burn calories, it's to push the available calories into the muscle. So if you're working hard enough and you're feeling that burn, that means that your muscles are undergoing some little tiny, tiny tears. Great job, Barbara. She's got to get her baby up. Get little Sadie up and get her to school. I think she's in kindergarten this year, am I right? I've been following her pictures. She's adorable. So when we strength train, we push calories that we consume throughout the day into our muscles, as opposed to as opposed to storing them as fat, okay? That's the point of strength training. Here we go. Flat back, tricep kickbacks. Last round of these. Let's do it. Now, if you prefer, instead of a kickback, I would be okay if you wanted to do an overhead tricep. We do those more often, because those actually are my favorite. But when we kick back, you should feel that in your tricep, this muscle back here. That really pretty muscle that when you go to wave to somebody from across the room, you don't want to have your skin jiggle. That's what this is. Oh, man, I'm at failure. Come on, Jess. 10 seconds. 10. That's it. Squeeze. Next up, you've got a plank hold. Three, two, one. Of course. Guess who's on my yoga mat? Hang on, Odie. Hang on, Odie. Here we go, y'all. Plank hold, okay? Let's do it. <laughs> he thinks it's his yoga mat. He's like, oh, a little kitty spot. A little kitty spot, Odie. Hold your plank. That's it. Keep your hips low, okay? You don't want to ever be up here. You want to be down here. Hips low. Hey, Odie. Breathe. Keep going. You've got 15 seconds. The sweat is pouring off my chin. Pouring. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. We're gonna go on our back into a chest, a chest fly hex press. Here we go. You ready? Right here. Try not to move the sweet kitty. Here we go. Lay it back. Chest fly, hex press. Last round, y'all. You've got about five minutes to go. Push through. That's it, Emily. That's it, Yolanda. Come on, y'all. Don't give up now, LaShawn. Come on. Chest fly. Hex press. Keep going. Halfway. Ten more seconds on this one. 10 second chest fly. Next up, you're gonna stand up and go into a back fly. Roll it up. Back flies. All right, I'm gonna go with my 12ers. Go as heavy as you can, y'all. It is last chance for a burn. Here we go. Good. Right here. Uh, back fly. Man, I should have picked up my lighter weights. Everything's feeling heavy. Come on, Marilyn. 30 seconds. Now, if you're hitting failure every, every few like I am, take a quick break and get right back into it, okay? Uh, yes. 15 seconds. Come on, we can do this. We can do this, Marilyn. That's 
it. Five seconds. Yes, set your weights down. All right, last set of arm circles. Arm circles. Good, and while we've got some time, we're going straight into it, arm circles. I wanna to thank today's sponsors. We are highlighting Melanie Post, Maria Vasquez, and Trisha Downing. So I wanna highlight those three people and say thank you guys for all your support. Melanie, Maria, and Trisha. Reverse it. We're doing sort of a medium circle. Are you guys feeling that burn? That's it, 20 seconds. All right, let's do mini circles. Forward, forward. Good, big circles. Reverse it. Uh, 10 seconds. Oh, eek, eek. Uh, Y'all, out of everything we did today, that arm circle brought me to my knees. Okay, last set of Renegade rows, then you've got one wild card. Sorry, Odie. I'm gonna have to use our mat. Row. Row. Finish strong on these renegade rows, okay? That's it. Keep going. <laughs> it keeps getting longer and longer. I don't know how this is going to work, do we? Finish strong, y'all. Last set your wild card coming up. Remember, you get to pick your last circuit. You get to pick. Five seconds more. Five seconds. Renegade Rose. Good, lock it up. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick a jumping jack. An in and out jack. If I have space back here. <laughs> Here we go. Last one. This is your wild card. You get to pick whatever you want here, as long as it's movement. <laughs> I think I inhaled the cat hair. That's it, y'all. 20 seconds more and you're done. Don't stop now, Emily, come on. You got it, Patty. You got it, Pamela. 15, 10, in and out jacks. If you wanna do what I'm doing, otherwise do your own wild card. That's it, that's it y'all. Keep breathing, get some water, okay? We've got three minutes to spare. We finished. We finished. <laughs> mm. All right, you guys. Roll your shoulders. Roll it forward. You guys did great. All right, it's Tuesday. If you didn't do so well yesterday, <laughs> I'm owning up to that. Hey, Renee, great job. My tracking was not great yesterday, okay? Today's a new day. Drink water. Yes, Juanita's got the jello shoulders. That's it, Tanya, arms up. Reach for the center of your back, grab that elbow and pull. Switch, great job, Marilyn. So remember, you're focusing on your five healthy habits this week. Water, sleep, healthy fueling, movement every day, and trying to track all those components, okay? We will check in on them tomorrow as well. Thank you, Carol. Cross one leg over if you can. You guys did great. Remember, tomorrow, Wednesday, is leg day. So get some sleep tonight, eat clean, and I will see you back Wednesday for leg day, okay? Lots of squats and lunges, always. Thank you, Pamela. Have a great Tuesday, you guys. Bye.